Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching season 14 of America's Next Top Model. I've nearly reacted to every single season of America's Next Top Model, which is just crazy. I'm gonna miss it when it's over. Saya wanted to be a part of today's intro, so I let her. Um, she is taking a nap currently. Hopefully we get some good makeovers in this season. Hopefully things aren't too boring, because we know some seasons have just Miss the mark. I honestly don't even care if it makes them look better or worse. I just want to see something happen. And I have some crazy sh to react to because that's my favorite thing to do. And I'll let you know at the end which one is my all time favorite of the season. But before we get into that, I do have a sponsor for today's video. Saya, daddy's got work to do. I gotta put you down. I'm sorry, girl. I, you were so cute, but I gotta go. Today's video is sponsored by Native Deodorant, my favorite deodorant. I switched over to aluminum free deodorant because I try to do what's good for my body and what's best. This I feel like is an easy step to take to do something better for yourself. Listen, if my deodorant smells good, it keeps me smelling fresh, put it in the basket. I'm buying it today. The deodorant is non-sticky, great for on the go, and it dries super quickly. The scent is it has longevity to it. You can exercise with it and you still smell fresh. They have so many choices. These are the scents that I have right now. First, we have the Citrus and Herbal Musk, which I've mentioned before. I love this one. I like to interchange them, use whatever I'm feeling that day, you know? This is Cucumber and Mint. That mink is at the perfect kick that I'm looking for. This one that I just started using, which is the Palm Leaf and Bergamot. Again, this one just smells fresh and it has that little kick of sexiness with the Bergamot. It smells so good. Native recently teamed up with LA-based lifestyle brand and Jungalo to do a limited edition collection of deodorants and body washes. With the creative packaging and unique scents, you'll be transported to another world without even leaving your house, which we all need right now. They also just launched the same deodorant in the plastic free packaging, which is always great for the environment. It's the same formula with more sustainable packaging. They've been working on this project for about two years and they're so excited to um, finally bring this product to their consumers and have it come to life. This deodorant is aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free. Of course, it's vegan and cruelty free and free shipping to the US. Three deodorants are usually $36, but if you use my link and code BRIMONDO2, you'll get them for $24, which is 33% off. Now that you got your deodorant, let's go watch some America's Next Top Model. Let's do it. Our limo is waiting for us outside. The limo. Oh. I miss the limo days. They were just such simpler times. Remember like people literally taking a limo to look fashionable and cool? They're really just fun times. I feel like I really am different from all the other girls. It's been seven years since somebody's cut my hair. It's been seven years since you've gotten a real professional haircut. That's a concerning amount of time. Ben is edgy, she's punked out, she's super cool. I want Sally Hirschberger to give her a special edged out like fringy kind of cool thing. I want Tyra to give her an edged out cool thing. That's my concept. Yes, Tyra, give us nothing, but everything at the same time. We're gonna go really over the top with this makeup for you girls today. I'm all about changing my look. I'm cool with short, I'm cool with long. Any, any style is cool with me. Okay, she's cool as f in general. I really liked the haircut a lot. I literally did, couldn't remember what she looked like beforehand because it looked so natural on her. I love that they didn't change her color. I think the color works perfectly for her. The haircut really suits her face shape. I think it's all around a great job. I think she also looks exactly like Sally Hershberger, which is kind of funny, but you know, we're all a little narcissistic. Gabrielle, I want to make her a little bit more angelic. Let's bleach her out real blonde. Make her look like a wood nymph. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I love the color. I love that it's lighter around here. I don't know how she's gonna style her hair like that. Like, I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think they permed her hair or anything. I think they just curled it. It looks stunning. I love it. I love the color. I love the cut. I love the curls. I think the whole thing just really came together and gave her that ba ba boom kind of like sexy model moment. I love it. The photo also is really, really pretty of her. She looked like kind of a girl next door before and after she looks like a real model. So I love this makeover. I'm inspired by Krista's bone structure. She's got cheekbones that'll cut you. So I just want to slick her hair back in a ponytail, give her a horse tail that she can remove and put back on. She is stunning. Okay, well, let's just take a look. First of all, what's that face about? This is something I do when I don't feel like doing my hair. I have like a bun, I slick it back. Ooh, it's true. I hate it. I 
hate it. But I don't want this to affect me and, and what I want to accomplish in this competition. I hated that. I, she, she looked good. Like, listen, I, I like the look. But that was a makeover? Girl, that's what they do at, like, shoots just to style your hair. That was not a makeover. Y'all did nothing to her real hair, basically. I think she would look great blonde. Like, blonde and, like, a buzz cut. She doesn't need any hair because her face is so pretty. Like, it just wasn't necessary. They should have shaved it off. Ansley, you've got those strong bones, just, like, square jaw. They got this kind of wavy long hair. I want to see the jaw baby, so the hair has to go. Okay, what are you thinking? I see some serious high fashion in this, too. I love it. It's crazy. I've never, ever had short hair in my entire life. So I, like, don't want to stop touching it. It feels so light and fluffy. Ansley baby, mmm, they really f***ed you up. Listen, they didn't like you. They said, this girl's gonna get the worst makeover. <laughs> Why am I so mean lately? That was awful. I don't know how else to put it. I really don't. She looked way better before. That long, dark hair with that beautiful wave pattern was just great. And then after, she had this, like, John and Kate plus eight stacked A-line bob. The most stripey highlights known to mankind. It was all around terrible, and then it was styled awful as well. I don't even know if at the time this was actually the look. Why would a model ever wear that? It's way too stylized, you know? We're, we're just, it's too much for, for this gig. Alexandra, I love your beautiful, fiercely real body. So we need to give you some fiercely real hair. Just some Giselle highlights and softness. Ooh. I know, <laughs> that's a good thing. I feel beautiful. I need to have one question. How do we go from the last makeover to this one? Literally looks like she could be living in today's time and look amazing. Beautifully done balayage with a great haircut with a nice blowout, nothing over the top or too done. And then the last girl gets some severe John and Kate plus eight moment going on. I don't know what was going on there. Or maybe it was the hairstylist's error. I don't know. I like this one a lot. Was not my favorite because it was a little bit too boring, but I think this complements her skin tone a lot more and her face shape and makes her look a lot more angelic and glowing. Simone, I know she's very straight and to the point, and she's a sorority girl. So you know how Cassie shaved the sides of her head? That's what we're gonna do to you, honey. But it's definitely more bottom. Wow. My old look was safe and like boring, but now I'll feel less need to be like pretty and smiley and cute, and I'll be able to be more like adventurous and like edgy. So the execution wasn't there, we can be honest with that one. I'm gonna give this one a hall pass because it was very of the time, and I think it was kind of punky back then. The haircut was kind of like two haircuts put on one, like a shaved head and like a grown out, like I don't know. The whole thing just needed a little bit more connection. I get that it was supposed to be like a mohawk thing. Maybe it just wasn't styled correctly for me, like that pin straight hair. Maybe she needs some wave in there. Something wasn't working. I don't know what it was, but I hated it. What are you doing, Nadra? Because you already got a buzzed head, which I love. So let's just bleach your eyebrows, honey. I know you talk like this. So we're gonna bleach your eyebrows. You're gonna look fabulous. Being here is really a dream come true. This is everything I've wanted to be for so many years. You guys know I love an alien moment. Like when you don't have brows, oh my God, and you can pull it off. Like, whoa, her nose is so pretty. Like, I don't know, I love that her nose is like so boxy and like not tiny, tiny, tiny. She should wear that look every day. And I love the shaved head. Obviously they kept it because they can't do anything else with it. I love her head shaved. I love the blonde eyebrows. They look so spectacular on her. My fiance loves long, gorgeous hair. How sharp is this razor? Very sharp. It's so sharp that we can just like cut off chunks like that. Brenda, I think that it's too sexy, right? It's just a little too la la la. Ooh. We have to cut it off real short like Halle Berry, girl, yeah. Hey, yo, he's just going in with that razor. Chop, chop, chiru. My heart sank. I couldn't help it. I was just crying. Your hair, it made you look a little older and you need something that gives you some edge. I would be crying too, girl. It doesn't look good. I came into this competition so confident and my whole world's been shaken. And so to have that taken away, it is really painful for me. Oh my gosh. Mm. They did you wrong. I gotta relearn. Like, I have to reprogram my mind. I know it sounds so dramatic, but it, it really is a dramatic change. I would have slapped the hairdresser. I would have, I would have been like, what did you just do to me? Because he just lost you the competition. And if she won, I'm surprised. Love her hair color. Absolutely beautiful, I will say that. The haircut, it looks like she shaved her head and then grew it out for three months. And this is what she has now to deal with. It looks like a grown out haircut. It's just not it. Really disliked a lot of these so far. Angelique, uh huh, girl. You know how you say you keep it real. Well, I ain't gonna keep it real because you gonna get a weave, girl. Oh no. The top model weaves are always a mess. Look how long Yo. this is. Do you feel how long this is? It goes all the way down to Yo, here. Yo, I feel like Tyra. 
I look fantastic, -os. I look so good, I look amazing. I am fierce, fine, and fabulous, and I'm ready to just kick in that competition, so let's go. I think it looks good. I just think it blends in with her skin too much. I think if they're gonna do blonde, it needs to be lighter and brighter. It wasn't awful though, I, I didn't mind it. Maybe it was just the makeup was a little too bronzy, I don't know. I did like the dark hair on her. Like I think if they did the bangs, the long hair with the dark, it would look better. But this is fun too. Raina, we're gonna give you deep, dark, chocolate hair. Parted in the middle, and I'm not touching those brows because they're lovely. I'm so happy with my hair. I've never dyed my hair before. I've never been brunette before. I want to rock it. I want to like show the world my hair. Yes, this was done correctly. I'm getting chills. I get chills when I like things. It's actually stupid. It's like just hair, Brad. This neutral, deep brown color was perfect for her skin tone and it matches her eyebrows flawlessly. Brings out her eye color. I mean, it just looks great. I think the color before was doing nothing for her. This looks fabulous. Alasia, she pulled that wig off at casting and we were like, oh my God, all this hair? So we're just gonna give her some body and some curl and give her some clip-ins that she can clip in and out at photo shoot. I am absolutely in love with it. I love like how it's so bouncy and sophisticated, you know? It makes me feel more girly. It's not really doing anything for me. It's a pretty style. It was like a change, but it wasn't because the moment she washes her hair, it's just gonna go back to what it looked like before. So they didn't really change anything. They gave her some clip-in extensions, I guess. Was, I don't know, whatever, I'm over it. Tatiana has dark, beautiful hair and you remind me of Angelina Jolie. So we're not gonna go in that direction. We're gonna go the opposite and make you Goldilocks. <laughs> she's like, I actually feel she's kind of like shaking. Any hair I can rock. So blonde hair, brown hair, red hair, anything they would have given me, I would have been fine with. And it's good to me. First of all, I do like the color. I like the length. But what are those extensions? Why couldn't we just do like good extensions on this show? And it's like, all I want to know. I want to know if there was just no extension budget. Like they were like, no, if you want extensions, we have to do it really badly and really cheaply. I mean, those things looked like a problem waiting to happen. You could see the tracks right on the top of her head. We had much less less options for extensions back then though, so I will give it to them. Jessica, sweet girl next door, big doe eyes is getting chocolate brown hair to sexify you up. Oh my God, holy crap. I feel that this makeover has definitely made me more edgy. It's like really high fashion, like now I pop, so. Baby girl, you look the same. <laughs> I guess they made her hair darker. It looks the same. Beautiful, she looks great, but same. More of the same. So that was Top Model Cycle 14. The makeovers were kind of boring, I'm sorry guys. I did have two favorite makeovers and one all-time favorite. We had Reyna who got the blonde to brown uh, transformation and it was just beautiful. Then we had Ren who got the shaggy haircut and it looked awesome too. But Reyna was my all-time favorite. She just looks spectacular with that brown hair. It really brought out her beauty even more so than before. She looked amazing. I loved it. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Bam, get it. Make sure you click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. Get to it, get on it. If you guys wanna check out my Live Your Extra Life merch and maybe you cop yourself a piece, here it is. You can shop with the link right down below at xmondohair.com. You can also check my hair care brand out at xmonohair.com. We have hair color and hair care products. You can also head over to our Instagrams, xmonohair and xmonocolor to get some inspiration on what color or what style you should do next. If you guys would like to text me, you can do so with this number right here. Yes, it really is connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see your messages. And yes, I'll be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now, this will also notify you every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Nusa. Um, she says, hi, Brat. No, Brat, my name's Brad. I have straight, dark blonde hair with a tint of ginger shine. Oh, I like that description. I dyed it once and fully damaged my hair, so I had to wait to fully grow it out again, and now I'm really scared of dying it again, but I wanna change, please help. I tried bangs, a little shorter, lighter, and a little darker hair, and I still have no idea what I like or what suits me. I mean, I feel like what you have really suits you. I mean, do I have to give you another option? Try curtain bangs and some balayage highlights just to add a little more lightness around your face and around everywhere, and maybe a middle part if it's not already middle parted. Hope that helps, and if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.